What up y'all, it's T-Tur, and today we're going to be looking at Riddler Koo's most recent tweets about Gen 10 and when Legends EM might come out. We take him with a grain of salt, okay? I'm going to show you. I mean, I have been looking through his Scarlet and Violet scrap stuff, and it's been a lot of fun. But then we come back to this side of stuff, and I know this man. Well, let's not see it yet. This is the tweet. Have you prepared for Gen 10? 30th A. <laughs> Ikaku will not be out too early next year. Fantastic, Ku. Ku, your info's on a crazy level, bro. So here, Ku's implying info about Gen 10. <laughs> He's implying, I suppose, that he knows. But Ku, freaking mans know this. So the reason whenever I joke about Gen 10, I put it at 2026, is because 2026 is the 30th anniversary of Pokemon. Red and Green came out in Japan in 1996, and these anniversaries are a big deal to Pokemon. Uh, in 2016 is when Pokemon Sun and Moon came out. And if you imagine, Sun and Moon is meant to honor the 20-year anniversary. That's why they had characters like Red and Blue pop up. And then they never popped up again. It was really just a homage to those first Greams. So... 2026 is very obviously the 30th anniversary of Pokemon. That's where I've put Gen 10. Cool. You don't have freaking any info. Have you prepared for Gen 10? 30th A. It'd actually be funny if I'm wrong, but then he's wrong too. It's pretty exciting to think about, right? The 30th anniversary, they're going to do something grand. Remember, I mentioned the red and blue thing. They would do that on a whole scale. What could that mean? We'll talk about it in another video. And then he says, Ikaku will not be out too early next year. Cool. Your source is fantastic. Everyone knows this, bro. What? This game going to come out in March? That'd be hilarious if it came out in March. <laughs> Make me look stupid. But, dude, these games, they're not going to come out earlier in the year. They're going to max their sales. It's going to come out at the end of the year. The only reason, I mean, this isn't officially confirmed anywhere, but the only reason Legends Arceus came out in January seems to be because their entire schedule was pushed. In my vision of how things probably would have played out, BDSP would have come out in like October or September even. And then Legends Arceus would have come out in November or December. And another way I can convince you guys of this idea is that they announced Pokemon Scarlet and Violet a month less than a month after legends arceus came out their timeline clearly got squished and so you had two pokemon main series games unrelated to each other coming out in the same year legends arceus in january pokemon scarlet and violet in november that clearly was not their plan they're never releasing games cool early in the year you don't freaking i hate to freaking make me yell at you ikaku will not be out too early next year but anyhow to give more credit to him Let's be fair, he is about to enter a period where he's going to start getting information. In summer is when his sources start to give him the scoop on what's going on. And he said it multiple times. Let me see if I can find one. Like here, party always starts in summer each year. So you know what? We're a month away from summer. Maybe he's beginning to get the info and he's figuring out how to parse it and spread out his riddles. At least to take this at surface value, it's interesting. He's just hinted here gen 10 in the works which right now would be in early stages of development but it's cool to think about just what they could be pulling off where would it take place and then the second thing here that hints legends ea would be probably in winter of next year oh shoot any news on the starter you're gonna know them within this year freaking cool damn cool i'm honestly expecting trailers to only come out next year and this is just like freaking failure we're doing nothing this year but we're gonna know the equivalent. So the Syndical, Oshawott, Rowlet of Legends Arceus. We're gonna know what it is this time for Legends EA. We already have our guess, right? What is it? Torchic, Piplup, Snivy? That's our best guess right now. Please, all I need to know is if there are areas outside of Lumio. <laughs> I don't want it to be all in the city. But yeah, to conclude this, the main way this is probably gonna go down is the Switch 2 is circulating, right? Behind the scenes. It's when the Switch 2 news starts to come out that we're probably gonna get proper trailers on Legends Day. But until then, they can still put out small trailers and scoops just advertising it for the original Switch for now. Bar the teaser trailer we got, I'm thinking like mentally, if they only put out trailers associating this with the new Switch, even if it's compatible with the old Switch, that it'll hit better with fans, that it's this big new product. And that's why they're pushing the release of any trailers as much as possible for that. Because it doesn't matter if the game comes out in like a year and a half, they still could put trailers out throughout this whole wait. 
Of course, coolest reason for no trailers here is that they have no game footage, which I don't really believe. But even without showing gameplay, there's still ways they can make the hype season work. And he has posted one more thing to hint things are coming later this year. Also prepare for the interesting goods coming later by the end of this year. I mean, I could have worded that differently. <laughs> They better have five new evolutions for all the weight. Oh, how dare they? A whole year off? Honestly, I've been just doing my best to talk about whatever. And it's been filling in the hype season for me. I'm honestly making videos to make myself excited. Because, bro, I'm about to lose interest in Pokemon if I stop making videos. Keeps me interested. But if you're not giving me any freaking trailers, I'm dipping, bro. All right, you telling me by the end of the year? All right, I'll come back at the end of the year then. I mean, honestly, I have a trillion things to talk about. I have so many notes that I want to make videos on, but it's most fun when I'm making videos to go alongside uh, a hype season that's giving me stuff back. At this point, I'm getting crazier by the day if I keep going through these notes with y'all. <laughs> so honestly, we'll see. Maybe I'll take a break from making videos until freaking Legends they post something. Just some other stuff to talk about in terms of the Switch 2. If you think about it, Nintendo's been holding off on some pretty important products that they should be putting out. Like a new Mario Kart game, Super Mario Odyssey came out alongside the Switch in 2017. They never made an Odyssey 2. It's like they're waiting for this whole new Switch to be announced to make these products. Mario Kart 9, Super Mario something instead of Odyssey. It looks like there's a whole bottleneck happening right now. And once the Switch 2 is announced, a whole wave of games can come out. So let's see, there is an exciting year waiting for us, just not freaking exciting right now dog the freaking switch 2 about to announce like freaking ankle cuffs so you can play a new mario party game actually jumping around your room play footsies with your friend that's one of the mini games so you got two joy cons two ankle cons <laughs> they're about to introduce joy cons that are legit like 20 pound dumbbells yeah it'd be a 20 pound dumbbell you put the new switch 2 joy con inside it's kind of weird tears of the kingdom came out now rather than waiting for the switch 2 but of course that was developed as a breath of the wild dlc at first so it was made for the switch hardware in mind but you never know maybe when the switch 2 comes out there's a super version of tears of the kingdom even though they said in trailers they have no plan for any extensions they like exhausted all their ideas with tears of the kingdom who knows maybe they change their mind switch 2 comes out there's a little expansion that comes after it they get their sales who knows shank that like button that's pretty much everything how do you feel about 2026 gen 10 coming and then potentially having at least a trailer maybe multiple by the time the end of the year approaches and then who's saying when summer comes he's gonna get information maybe the hype season is gonna start any minute now i don't know i couldn't tell you shank that like button i'll see y'all take care